this is going to be a follow-up video that I did from a, a couple of days ago when I was talking about a baby crying at birth. So when a baby is born, one of the first things that doctors and nurses look for is the baby's skin tone. Typically a healthy baby will have a pinkish type of color signaling good oxygenation and circulation. However, when the baby is discolored, and by that I mean appearing blue or even gray, it can sometimes indicate that there was an oxygen, that oxygen deprivation was occurring during the birthing process. Oxygen deprivation at birth, especially if it lasts long enough, can potentially lead to a condition known as hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy or HIE. This is a type of brain injury that can result when a baby's brain does not receive enough oxygen, affecting its vital organs and most importantly, the brain itself. But it's crucial to understand that not every instance of a baby being discolored at birth will automatically mean that that baby has suffered an HIE brain injury. Discoloration can happen for a variety of reasons, some of which may not be related to oxygen deprivation at all. However, when combined with other signs like a baby not crying or a baby struggling to breathe, it can be an early indication that there may have been complications during labor and delivery and that those complications need to be investigated further. In some situations where discoloration is present, the medical team may take immediate steps to provide resuscitation efforts. If the baby is struggling to breathe, or let's say that they have a low heart rate, a handoff to the NICU or the neonatal intensive care unit may take place very quickly. In the NICU, a team of specialists will evaluate the baby, and in cases where HIE is suspected, they may even initiate hypothermia or therapeutic cooling, which is a type of treatment that is designed to minimize the damage to the brain. The presence of discoloration combined with a need for resuscitation often signals that there may have been stress during labor and delivery. And so this is why understanding the full context of what happened during birth, including reviewing the fetal monitoring strips and the medical records is so important in determining whether medical negligence played a role in the events leading up to your baby's birth. So, while discoloration at birth doesn't always mean that a baby will have an HIE brain injury, it is a sign that should never be ignored. If your baby was discolored at birth and was taken to the NICU for further care, there may be questions about whether the proper steps were taken during labor and delivery or whether medical malpractice played a role in, in, in your baby's HIE brain injury. I'm Marcus Boston and I am a birth injury lawyer. And as always, if you have questions about your baby's HIE brain injury at birth, don't hesitate to contact me. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. Have a great weekend, everybody.